Okay, uh, my name is James Patrick Jordan. I'm with the Alliance for Global Justice, and I'm here in Indianapolis where uh, a group of people, a couple of organizations, have, are having a rally calling for freedom for the Pendleton Two. I'm here right now with Two Black, who is one of the producers of a new documentary about the Pendleton Two, and uh, I really hope that we can uh, get people to see that and give people a chance to see that as soon as possible but just let me start uh two black um uh, who are the pendleton two uh it's gonna be seen by people who know nothing about it probably right. yeah so the pendleton two is um two political prisoners here in indiana it's uh john balagoon cole and christopher naeem trotter so there's a longer version of the story but like you said you can watch the documentary the short version is they received 200 years in prison for saving an ex another a fellow prisoner's life uh, from the, from the beating at the hands of the Ku Klux Klan, who had their own splinter group inside of right. Pendleton Correctional Facility in Indiana, um, and they were a guard gang that was actually secretly part of the Ku Klux Klan. Right. And people heard them calling out that they're going to kill. Uh, yes, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Love. Love. Yes, right. so there was an inmate by the name of Lincoln Love. Um, who was beaten in his cell with, um, ha while handcuffed by multiple guards and billy clubs. He was dragged out of his cell, and it's the Pendleton two that came to his rescue. Once they came to his rescue, they saved him from being killed but after he was beaten, but then the guards rushed him. Um, they took over the prison uh, for about 15 hours. They took several hostages. No one died. They actually protected the hostages, and the only reason they had to do that was because the guards were trying to right. kill them too. Uh, once they were released, they they had a series of demands such as more rec time, better food, more black guards, etc. Um, and there was supposed to be no reprisals, but then the reprisal was again they got 200 plus years. One of them got 84 years. The other one got 142 years. Uh, they also spent 20 years. One of them, uh, Naeem, spent 20 years in solitary confinement. Balagoon spent 32 years in solitary confinement. And when this all went down. He only had three months. Well, yeah, Naeem only had three months, and Balagoon only had three and a half years. So this yeah. is a sacrifice. They did not have to do this, but Naeem was, or not Naeem, but uh, Lincoln Love was their friend. Lincoln Love was somebody who had mentored them, who would help, as they would say, remove them from the colonial mentality, help wake them up, help rehabilitate them, as, as Naeem says. Um, gave them some of their first books to read and everything of that nature. And, you know, so they weren't going to just let, let that man die. And like Balagoon said um, in, in, the, in the audio we just listened to earlier, uh, a lot of people don't do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> so when you do what you're supposed to do, which is intervene when you see an innocent man about to be killed, you know, you stand out. And the state wanted to make sure that anyone who intervenes, such, such as them, it receives a harsh penalty so no one else does that again. Because as, the, as one of the judges said, even when Naeem was resentenced, we have to have the guards back. <laughs> when he was resentenced to 122 years after already having 140. So, yeah. How can people support what you're doing? Uh, you can go to Pendleton2.com. It's Pendleton2.com. It's not the word to. Um, and you can write them if you want to talk to them directly. Uh, you can watch the documentary. You can uh, schedule your own screening. Um, you can donate to the campaign, which will go almost entirely towards them or any fees that the committee needs to help get them free. Um, you can join the committee if you'd like to. Um, you can offer solidarity as your own organization. Um, or you can just get in contact with, contact with us if you have any other ideas. And then lastly, you can sign a petition online that goes to the judge or goes to the um, excuse me the prosecutor and the governor and those are very important because we, we use that to show they have support all around the world you know um, we got into paying attention to political prisoners in the United States my organization Alliance for Global Justice is a international solidarity international. organization and we were studying about how the US is exporting the mass incarceration model around the world to the global south and that's one of the things about imprisonment and about political imprisonment in the u.s and elsewhere it is primarily aimed at people of color it's primarily an instrument of a uh, of racism and Oppression. empire Black yeah and yeah so y'all are doing this in indiana here in indianapolis 
but uh, we all know that this has repercussions. Uh, when we started, you know, we would travel and people would ask, well, how many political prisoners there are in the U.S.? Or does the U.S. have political prisoners? Yes, got plenty of political prisoners. So, that's just what you're at. Now, this is Naeem, right? Yes, this is Christopher Trotter. Naeem. Yeah. He had 90 days before he was released. Three months before he got out. But he was compelled to see when he saw guards, card carrying members of the Ku Klux Klan affiliate splinter group. And he saw them attempting to kill a comrade. Yeah. He stepped in. First, they went to the authorities, the administration, and said, please stop this. They went through their protocol. They used their positions and went through protocol to try to get these guys to say, hey, listen, they're trying to kill this man, prevent it. They didn't want to do anything. So they felt uh, compelled upon themselves to interject and save that man's life. And they did. And they still feel empowered from saving his life even back then they don't regret their decision but now it's time for us to come together as a people to be there for them as they were there and saved a man's life it's been 40 years it's time for these men to come home well here we are at the illinois circle and the incarceration indiana. the indiana circle <laughs> indiana yeah, yeah. circle, yeah, circle and uh you know it's a small circle but the circles of oppression and repression are worldwide and so is the resistance so from indiana all the way around all we're way with around you thanks Solidarity. a lot for being here free them all, free, free them all. Free okay them thank all. you absolutely uh,